this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Broken Age. I don't know about you, but um, I'm getting a little bit excited right now. There's um, yeah, there's a good chance that we're getting very close to a conclusion in this game. I think we've got a, a few episodes yet, so don't panic. But uh, I think that things are getting exciting. Uh, I've pretty much uh, got to where I needed to go as Vela. I still have a few more things to work out. I'm basically trying to make a bomb as Vela. I better shape. Uh, I've kind of got quite a few of the uh, the tasks done, uh, but at the moment, I'm not really sure what I need to do. I know I need to find a shell, and uh, I can't see any uh, on the, the shore here, uh, so I don't know. Let's, let's just go for a little bit of a, a wander and see uh, see what we can do. I don't know if anything would have changed. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> can you see anything out of place in this scene? This is that fish. You know that, that speaking fish that, that fell down in the last episode? Uh, it looks like it's landed here. I don't think I'm going to be able to, to reach it, though. Let's see. You can't reach it. Marvin That's what I said. Everything you need for fish and more. Marvin Sporting Goods. That's where the, the fish is from then. Right. Looks like we're going to have to find some way uh, to, to get this fish down. Let's go and uh, speak to the, uh, the dialogue tree. Tree. Human. Uh, that fish up there in your branches, can I have it? There we go, straight to the point. That fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. Um, right, so it looks like we need uh, to find some way uh, to convince the uh, the tree to, to give us the uh, the fish. Oh, come on, you don't need that fish. I happen to think it brings an interesting asymmetry to my look. So back off. Hey, wanna hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? Aha! I reckon that if I make the, the tree laugh, it might shake the uh, the fish out and then I'll be able to get it. So I guess we need to, to pick the uh, the funniest joke. I think I'm the most qualified person here to decide. So it's got to be a tree joke. Uh, so here we go. Here are the, the four options. Uh, what's the smallest full-grown full, full grown tree you've ever heard of? Uh, oh, we can't hear the punchlines. We only hear the questions. <laughs> Why did the president of the chimp monks get impeached? Um, how many lumberjacks does it take to change a light bulb? Or what did uh, the stump say to the, the axe? Let's go for this one. Because I know the uh, the tree doesn't like lumberjacks. So I think doing a joke laughing about lumberjacks might be a good idea. Uh, let's find out. How many lumberjacks does it take to change a light bulb? Two. One to murder a tree to make a ladder. The other to change the light bulb. Well, that's a reasonable number, actually. <laughs> okay, I don't think he found that one funny. Let's try another one. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> Okay. Right, so we're not asking about the, the lumberjacks. Uh, did you hear about Little Sammy Saw? Did you hear about Little Sammy Saw? Who is that? Some sort of depraved serial killer? What did he do? Aha, there we go. At least I can have the, the second part. Uh, I heard he had wood for brains. Uh, well, I hear he's got some really big trouble. I heard he had one too many nuts. I heard he threw a clock out a window. Um... None of them are really funny. Let's just go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, then just press X and see if we get a good I one. Heard he had one too many nuts. Hey, keep it clean. There are saplings around here. I, I didn't mean. Sorry. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's have another go then. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. I'm assuming we don't need to get a joke from someone. I'm assuming I can work it out. So we don't, he doesn't like the lumberjack one. That semi one wasn't very good. Uh, did you hear the local coffee shop has a no oaks policy? Um, let's try this one. Did you hear the local coffee shop has a no oaks policy? What? In this day and age? Uh, it closed down. Uh, the coffee there was terrible. I heard they wanted to see time fly. Uh, they have free cookies. Uh, none, none of these, these aren't even jokes. These aren't even punchlines. The coffee there is terrible. How is that relevant? It's not relevant. Just, you know, humorous. Is it? Can I, can I, can I just tickle the tree? Can you tickle trees? If I do it really hard through the bark, can I make it laugh? Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Right, we can do this, we can do this. Uh, do you know why penguins don't have Christmas trees? <laughs> Let's try this one. Do you know why penguins don't have Christmas trees? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because they don't believe in tree murder? Never mind. Right, nope, that wasn't a good one. Okay. Uh, why didn't the acorn want to go to the opera? Why didn't the acorn want to go to the opera? I don't know. Why didn't the acorn want to go to the opera? Uh, they have free cookies there. It closed down. Uh, I heard they wanted to see time fly. The coffee there is terrible. Um, once again, none of these are really jokes. I heard they wanted to see time fly. I don't get it. Well, it's more of an absurdist anti-joke, really. Uh, huh. We can do this. Okay, 
Let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Come on, bad puns are supposed to be my uh, speciality. I can do this. Uh, which ones haven't we done? Uh, say, do you know uh, old Pete the Pine Tree? Let's try this one. I don't think we've done this one before. Say, do you know old Pete the Pine Tree? Piney Pete down the hill? Sure. Good friend of mine. Oh, it's, it's, it's a real person. I uh, heard he had too many nuts. I heard he had wood for brains. Uh, well, I hear he got some real big trouble. I heard he threw a clock out the window. Um, let's try this one. Well, I hear he got in some really big trouble. Oh no, what for? Um, it seems he was being really naughty. He wouldn't give a guy this fish caught in his branches. <laughs> Cheated on his sap tax. Uh, killed a cop. What? <laughs> that doesn't fit in. Um, let's try that one. Cheated on his sap tax. Who doesn't? Did he do it in a funny way or something? Uh, not really. So where's the joke? Yeah, still working on that one. I'm hoping that I can just get the, the right joke from speaking to him and I don't need to go and like work it out by talking to someone else. Uh, let's try again though. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Hopefully I can just wear him down and he's just going to end up giving it to me. Uh, there's, there does seem to be new different ones. Uh, did you hear about the first national tree bank? Did you hear about the First National Tree Bank? No. What? I have all my money in the First National Tree Bank. Uh, it closed down. Uh, they have free cookies there. The coffee there is terrible. I heard they wanted to see time fly. Um, are any of them actual jokes? Tree Bank? Uh, no. I don't, I don't think any of these actually work as jokes. I heard they wanted to see time fly. I don't get it. Well, it's more of an... Right, let's keep going. Okay. Let me try another joke. <sighs> Okay. Let's see if there's any more options that we've heard before. So we've done that one. We've done that one. We've done this one. Why did the president of the chipmunks uh, get impeached? Why did the president of the chipmunks get impeached? Ooh, I bet he did something cheeky. Am I right? Hey, this is my joke. Okay, okay. What did he do? Okay, chipmunks. Uh, well, I hear he got in some really big trouble. Uh, he had wood for brains. I heard he threw a clock out a window. I heard you. Now, that, that, this one kind of works as a joke. I heard he had one too many nuts. Hey, keep it clean. There are oh, he still didn't like it. That was uh, my best chance, I think. Uh, what is the smallest full grown tree you have ever heard of? What's the smallest full grown tree you ever heard of? Well, some say the dwarf willow, but it's really no more than a shrub, if you ask me. Uh, your mother's a dwarf willow. Let's not say that. Right, so this dwarf willow uh, walks into a taco shop, right? I think the smallest tree is the tree without love. Uh, I've seen one no bigger than my hand. Uh, let's try this one. Right. So this dwarf willow walks into a taco shop, right? That's unlikely, considering the harsh arctic climates in which it's usually found. They sell snow tacos, okay? That and the fact that trees don't walk. <sighs> Why do you hate jokes? <laughs> I'll tell you when I hear one. This guy isn't making it easy for me, is he? Uh, let's just try, let's try one more. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Right, is there any ones we've not had yet? The bank one, Sammy Sword, No Oaks, and then the Christmas tree. I think we've asked all these before. Did you hear the local coffee shop has a No Oaks policy? What? In this day and age? Uh, they want to see time fly. The coffee there is terrible. It closed down. Uh, they have free cookies there. Let's just say this one. They have free cookies there. So? So... <laughs> huh? No. Okay, what I'm going to do... Seeing as I'm saying a lot of jokes and he doesn't seem to be biting, I'm going to keep asking jokes for a while, and then I'm going to cut ahead in the video until uh, one of the uh, the jokes that he actually finds funny, and one of the jokes I say is actually a joke, and then yeah, hopefully he's going to laugh enough to, to get the fish down. So I'll be back in just one second. Oh, oh wait a minute, I think I might be onto something here. A palm tree as the smallest tree. That works! That's a joke! I don't know if it's a funny joke, but that's a joke. Let's give this one a go. A palm tree. A palm tree? But those aren't really... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yay! You get a line and I'll get a pole. We'll go down to the crawdad hole. Yikes! How's that thing talking? Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, yeah. Looks like he didn't like it anyway. There we go. I finally got the, the joke in there. You see, if I had the punchline about, like, if it was just, what's the smallest tree and I had an option, the palm tree, I would have got it. But the fact that I said, like, I had to say it's no bigger than my hand. Like, I didn't really get it, but oh well, doesn't matter. I got myself a fish. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, just stay quiet, you. Honey, sugar paw, baby, mine. Shh. 
And here's Sugar Power Baby. Man. I like this guy. Let's chat to him for a bit. It seems like so much work to teach a fish to sing. I wonder why they didn't teach it a second song. Don't forget to tip your waitresses. I usually give them one worm per drink. <laughs> right. Uh, we have a fish now. How's the fish going to, to help me? I needed a show. Oh, she's trying to catch fish, actually. I wonder if I, if I just give her a fish, will she be will she be happy? Uh, let, let, let's try this. What's that? You get a lo lot of fish when you use the right equipment. You caught that fish? On this beach? What's your secret? Hmm. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Let me think about it. Ah. Oh. Hmm, that's a mischievous look. It looks like she kind of had a hook on her anyway. Uh, so uh, do I need to come up with a way, like, saying about how I caught fish? Oh yeah, if she stops trying to make the hook, then I could probably get the, the wire. Maybe I didn't actually need uh, to make a hook then. Um, What could I give her to convince her this is how I caught? I could give her really? this, like maybe, and say that I caught fish with uh, this. I, think, I don't think that will help her fish. Um, oh, this this thing's kind of like a hook, actually, I isn't it? I can tap that. Uh, let, let's go and grab grab this. I no, I'm not trying to tap it. I'm trying to pick it up. There we go. There we go. If I go grab this, uh, maybe I could convince her that I caught the fish with this thing. Okay, you've worn me down. I've decided to tell you about my fishing secret weapon. Your what? This. The hook that I caught that amazing fish with. I call it the fish reaper. Or freeper. You don't say. Hey, uh, do you suppose I could borrow your freeper for a little while? Aha, yeah, if you give me some of the, the wire. Borrow my free parts like part of my body. Uh, but please promise to leave some fish in the ocean for future generations. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's do this one. But please promise to leave some fish in the ocean for future generations. Thanks, kid. Guess I don't need this anymore. Yay! The wire! I've been trying I'm to get this for ages. My beauties. I wonder if she does actually catch any fish. Right, I got the wire. So let's see if I can use this to fix the, the hexy power then. Let's see if this actually works because this is what I've been planning to do for like ever. Looks like this little guy lost all his low level wiring. That explains why he's out cold. Okay, so can I connect it up? Aha! Right, can I if, can I just do it in like a circle? I guess if it's a current, it now needs to go into a, a circle. Some wire here. I don't know if I need to try and cross any like... across from one to the, the other. Any more wire. Oh no, I've only got... I've only got three pieces of wire. You can see that the currents are kind of different color. These are blue, yellow, and red. Take that one back. So let's yeah, connect better. these. That's all the wire I have. And then uh, let's try and do this one to this one. This one looks good. And then this one to this now, one. Out of wire. Hmm. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Some of them you can kind of tell where the wire is being broken off. It looks like these two kind of were connected. You can see where there was a bit of wire there. So let's connect them ones. And then, Put this um, here. like that. And then this one looks like it was connected to two of them. Terminal. To that one. And then it looks like this one was connected to this one. That's all my wire. But these don't look like they were connected to anything. But I've run out of wire now. Is it is it working any better? Topper, the hunter guy gave me. Hmm. Okay, so I have my little, little guy. Topper, the hunter guy gave but me. I have no idea of uh, working out exactly how I'm supposed to piece it together. Because I've, I've not got enough wire to no do it wire. all. Um, but they are the different colors, um, and they seem to go in different directions yeah, as well. Uh, let me put that somewhere else. You try and do it to here. That goes there, and that's all the wire I have. Hmm. Can maybe try and do it to here and here. I don't know what I'm trying to do. There's no. Oh, if I throw them across yeah, like this. Out of wire. Aha! I can do them like diagonally across the entire way. Or maybe if they cross, would that would that make it better? There we go. If I do this to here, then they're all connected. That's all my wire. Okay, well they're all connected to, to something. Has that has that helped I don't know at all? If my wiring helped. No, I don't, I don't think it did, did it? But at least I got everything connected to everything. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm not uh, a wiring mm, expert. Be connected. Let's cool. try these diagonal, maybe. If I do this one to here. Okay. And then do the other to one, this one like this. And then do this one straight down I'll the middle. Then they're all gonna meet here. in the middle. Now I'm out of wire. Has this helped? Here goes nothing. No, I don't think I don't think it's it's jumped to, to life like I hoped it would. Maybe I can try Rose. doing this one like this, and then this, this one goes... like this, and this one like That's this. That's all the wire I have. I'm making some I'm making some pretty patterns. It doesn't seem to be to be helping too much though. Okay, well let's look once again. Not look fair. at how my wires were. So this one looked like it might have been heading to this way then, just because there's that little bit of wire left Connecting there. To this terminal. And this one kind of looked like it was going to here and then somewhere else. I think the the colours has to be uh, something to, to do with it, but 
I can't see what. I can't see any clues uh, to work it out. Maybe I need to go and speak to someone who would know about it. Let me go and try and pass it to... Well, actually, if I just take it back to to Alex, maybe he's going to know how to, to put it together. I mean, I'm not an expert. I mean, he's, he's the guy who knew the, the ship. Maybe he's going to know exactly uh, uh, how I'm going to be able to, to put these things to, together. Let's find out. How about this little guy? Would he help? On my ship, they were good at fixing all kinds of things, especially electronics. Incredible. Much more advanced than the units I'm used to. He's probably exactly what we need, but it looks like he needs some rewiring. And that tech is way beyond me. Hmm. Hmm, he didn't seem to give me any clues either. Let's speak to him again. Uh... Have you noticed that your ship's sort of shaking now? That's the heavy-duty anti-gravity thruster you found, warming up. After everything else is ready, that thing's gonna blast us out of here. Oh, man. So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and, uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Okay, see you later. Okay. Okay, it looks like I still have quite a lot of work to do. But, ooh, there's some colours here. Red, blue, and yellow. Looks like red's at the top, blue's there, and yellow's there. Am I thinking too much into this? <laughs> I think I am. I don't think this is going to help me at all. Um, let's just, I can try and play around. I mean, he says stuff. Do you reckon the stuff he says helps at all? Other end goes here. Mm, I'm not sure. And that's all the wire I have. No, I think it would do something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the the color means. Mm, that wasn't right. There's like if there were colors on here or something to to give me a clue, uh, then I might have some idea. But I really uh, have zero idea. I could do uh, these. Like, I thought my best bet would be to do something like this, where they all meet in the middle. Wait, does it always do, like, blue first? I think, does it always do blue first, no matter what I link up? Let's try and find out. Yeah, it always does blue first. So maybe it's the order in which I wire things up. So let's try and do, like, blue here, and then... Here. And then I can do, like... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. So red at the top. I don't, I, I don't think it's got now. anything to do with that thing down there, to be honest. I think I'm just trying to think too much into it. But I then could do yellow there, and then red here. It's on my wire. Because they, they move in different directions. Do they move in the, the directions that I place them in, maybe? Now I'm out of wire. Ah, they do. They always move in the, the directions uh, that I place them in. So I, I don't know if that's going to help me at all. Maybe if I do them all kind of going in this this same direction, like this. Oh, no, not like that. And oh, no, I accidentally went off again. Yeah, maybe I if I do nothing. that one to there, and then this one to here, and then this one to uh, here, maybe? No, I, I, I don't That's think I'm going to be wire. able to work it out by just fiddling uh, around with it. I think I'm going to have to somehow uh, try and work out wiring uh, what the answer is going to be. I could actually maybe speak to, to my dad, seeing as uh, he used to be beyond the ship. Uh, he would kind of be uh, more familiar with that, that kind of uh, technology. And uh, he might be able to, to help me out uh, a little bit better. So let's go and uh, pass it to him and uh, see if he would uh, have uh, any clues for me. I don't think that would help this little guy. No, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying put it in here. I'm saying pass it to the dad. I don't think help this little guy. No? Dad? Son? Hmm, this is just talking about the uh, the thing that he's trying to do. Uh, where he needs to get the, the seashell. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how else I'm going to be able to find it out. I don't know who else I could ask. I've not been back upstairs in a while. Greetings, Your Excellency. And so I wanted him to, to follow me uh, to get me to the, the snake. Well, I don't know how to, to do that. Because if I gave him my uh, the blueprint, uh, then he was going to make that hyper beam thing for me. Uh, so that's how I'm going to be able to, to do that. I just have no idea how I'm going to be able to do the wiring. I don't know where there would be uh, any clues for me, unless I'm missing something obvious. That's I'm going to have a quick go back smell. to the uh, the snake bars and see if... Um, and uh, see if it, there's anything I can do uh, to, to try and lure the, the snake to me. Uh, would the peach help? I've not used the uh, the peach at all yet. Right here comes the uh, the old snake. So I wanted the uh, the snake uh, to squeeze the the guy to try and get the uh, the pipe out. But I don't know if I can. Do you reckon I can just walk around with the snake? My mother never would have allowed this. Right. Let's see if I can walk around with it. Danger! I was snowing. So if I blow the pipe, it will get rid of it. Let's just try moving, putting things on it. Use my hands. Oh, I can't move my hands. Use my hands. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use. Anything uh, with it then? Uh, let's just try blowing the pipe again then. Are you? Hate to do this to you, big guy, but. I've got stuff to do. 
No time for play right now. Okay. So it goes to whatever. So when it hears that sound of that horn, it goes straight to it. So if I could maybe play that horn, maybe if I make a horn, maybe with this and then with this guy, maybe I could do that somehow. I don't think I can tap that. Um, I could maybe give this guy a peach or something. Want some fruit? From that big tree in Mariloft? No thanks. I had some earlier. Too tangy for my tastes. Hmm. Can maybe give him this, see if he could do the wiring? Hey, can you fix tiny robots? No, but I could make you a new one if I had the mold. Also, it would be kind of on the statue end of the robot spectrum. Hmm, okay, so that wouldn't help me. Can I do anything to this little cat guy? Home metallurgy kit. Make money without leaving your home. That's the new plan, man. I'm cashing in, selling out. Just until I get some money saved, of course. You know, then I'm gonna go right back to doing that whole integrity thing. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Uh, that's just the the fireplace. Well, let's have a quick look upstairs then before I uh, end the episode and uh, see what's changed. Because if you remember, uh, I took away the uh, the cloud of harmony. So, oh no, harmony, or how are you supposed to say it? So let's see what's going on up here. Well, he's just gone. <laughs> Obviously, he's just not here anymore. And let's see if he's uh, gone off somewhere else or if anyone's moved around at all. I can imagine all of the uh, the people in this uh, this clan aren't too happy with him right now. And these people haven't helped us at all. We could try speaking to them, maybe. Walter. Shay. Shay. Uh, did you mean that rat pack on the pile of junk back there? Uh, let's go and do this one. Oh, you mean that pack rat on that pile of junk back there? Um, pack rat? Yeah, turns out he was hiding this amazing mountain of trash under the fake cloud covering. Darn it! I knew it! You did? Well, I mean, there were signs, and one day it hit me. An epiphany? No, a license plate fell on my head when I was walking under his cloud, but I just didn't want to admit it to my family after making them all move up here. I am the worst father in the world. Did you willingly give up your own daughter as a sacrifice to save a town that didn't deserve her? No. Then you're doing all right, Walt. Aha, uh -huh. so uh, that didn't really help me, but at least uh, at least he kind of knows what's happening. I could maybe try and show this to, to them. How would you guys fix a broken robot? I usually fix brakes with a mixture of sugar water and eggs. Hmm, I don't think that would work here. If it's really hopeless, I would just mix it all up into a baking dish with some apple preserves, call it a crumble, and serve it with ice cream. Husker, you are a genius. <laughs> These uh, weren't the uh, the most useful uh, people in the, the world, were they? I can maybe ask people down here. If I just go and show my robot to enough people, hopefully someone's going to be able to fix it. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, look who's locked up down here. Mr. Lightbeard himself. Hey, what are you doing down here? They all turned on me. After all I've done for them. Well, that is kind of understandable. Can you fix my robot? Mm, I don't want to give him anything that could re-trigger his hoarding problem. Even a peach? Mm, I don't want to give him anything that could re-trigger his hoarding problem. Let's try uh, showing the other uh, robot to these people. I don't want to depress them with my dead friend. <laughs> yeah, good point. They're not very happy already. Right, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm uh, going to, to do here. So what I'm probably going to do is uh, in between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to have a little bit of a, a wander around and uh, try and work out uh, what I'm supposed to be doing to try and rewire uh, this robot or at least try and solve some um, some other problems. And then in the uh, the next episode, oh, whoa, easy now. <laughs> I should uh, hopefully have a, a little bit more of an idea and uh, be able to, to work out to what I, I need to do. Yeah, with wires and stuff. Is it plugged in? Electric stuff needs to be plugged in. Oh, mm -hmm, that's true. They've got red frosting! <laughs> yep, they were about as much help as uh, I thought they would be. Uh, so one last go before I do in the episode. I'm going to show it to these people here uh, just in case they can help at all. Can you train my robot to fight? Sorry, I only work with flesh and blood. Sometimes sugar, eggs, and flour. Just to be clear, some of that is for fighting, some for baking. I don't mix all that together. And uh, show it to him. Can you train my robot to fight? Nope, that just does the uh, the same thing. Yep, so I think I've pretty much asked uh, everyone I could ask, and no one can help me with my robot, so it looks like I'm working out this one by myself. Uh, but as I said, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it, and I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!